What's better than a stationary exercise bike? A real bike. And what's the best thing to do with a real bike? I like to go on the bike path and try and chase the fastest person or the guy on the e-bike and see if I can keep up and for how long. But now I get to chase the medical wagon, the lifeguard Baywatch character over there. He's dodging people on blankets and umbrellas and I'm dodging tourists. And he has probably 285 horsepower and I have one me power on my little tiny bicicleta. So let's see if I can keep up. And then the pot of gold or the pot of blood at the end of the bike path. What's he going to do? Is he, did someone get eaten by a shark or half eaten by a shark? Somebody missing a leg? Is somebody paralyzed? What's going on? And then the other question is how fast does a lifeguard truck go? I imagine he could probably go 40 or 50 miles an hour across the sand if he wanted to, but then he would also probably run over birds and people and do damage and end up in court. So I'm probably doing 16 or 17 miles an hour here. So this is on my uh, bike that folds in half and goes in the trunk of your car. You spin out of the big gear on it, but it's real practical. So 15 to 17 miles an hour is how fast it's gonna come save your life if you happen to fall down and hit your head in the ocean or get attacked by a, a marine mammal or you eat too many hot dogs and you choke on them at the beach stand. So this is my gym, wherever you live, I hope you have somewhere you can go. Generally, no matter where you live, there's a bike path or there's you can find local bikers and figure out from them exactly where the best place to go is or you can you can listen for ambulances and see if you can chase ambulances if you don't have a beach patrol. I think they go a little bit faster than a Toyota on the sand would go. The exercise is way more interesting when there's competition. That's why they invented sports. And so this point in the video is where I say, damn it, that lifeguard truck isn't getting away from me. I'm gonna catch him. And I crank it up to maximum heart rate, maximum speed on my bicycle that folds in half and Let's see what happens when I get to the end of the path. What are we gonna find? Chaos, destruction, Antifa, who knows? I'm about to find out. This video is almost over. Thanks for watching. Go out and ride your bike. And I win the race. So what caused the accident? A couple of people on e-bikes crashed on the bike path, perhaps hit some sand, perhaps they're going 30 miles an hour because they've got the motor boost. So glad nobody's too seriously hurt. And now it's time to eat. We want tacos. We want tacos. <laughs>